Oh, hey. Didn't see you there. Just uh, kind of practicing my game here in the locker room. I'm Ben Wharton, number 42 for the ACU Wildcat basketball team. What I'd like to do now is kind of show you a little bit of the ins and outs, the highs and lows of what it's like to be a basketball player on the road. First off, we got a little clip here showing you kind of what some of my teammates like to do, their pregame rituals, what they like to do before the game, kind of help themselves get ready. Go ahead and take a look. Every time before the game, I just listen my music, my Serbian music, right? And then uh, I put some hot pads on my knees in order to warm up and just put some icy hot on my legs. And I mean, that's pretty much it. Usually my pregame ritual consists of uh, listening to a little Alanis Morissette. And uh, after I get done with that, I'll just go stare into the mirror and just ask myself if I'm ready. Honestly. I don't do nothing special. I like to rub icy out on my knees, heat packs, you know, get a good stretch in, listen to my music, rap. My favorite song is going ham, you know, Kanye West. <laughs> That's about it, though. And I just get ready for the game, you know, get ready to play. Uh, as for pre-game rituals, I really only have one ritual. So I have a playlist on my phone that I have to go through before each and every game. It just it gets me in the mood to play and go out there and do what I do best, which is win. Sometimes on these long road trips, you can be traveling for hours and hours at a time. It gets your brain kind of loopy. Whenever you finally get back to the hotel, you kind of need something to do to unwind. So one thing I like to do is mess with my roommate Vladimir whenever he's sleeping. Here's a clip of me being a safari tour guide, if you will, in the wilderness that is Vlad's bedroom. Ladies and gentlemen, I have something very interesting you might like to see. This is Ben Wharton on location in San Antonio, Texas. I have a Vladimir Gavranich sleeping in his natural habitat. He's just feasted on some bamboo shoots and now he's in bed lying asleep. This is rare. It doesn't happen often. I'm gonna see if I can get some footage of it. Bother me. As you see, that's the beast. Lying in his natural habitat. Folks, this is so rare. This is a Vladimir Gavranich, aka the Serbian hammer. I'm trying to Oh god! He's he's awoken! He's awoken from his slumber! Folks, oh, oh god, that was close, again, if you can't find me, my name is Ben Wharton, get my story out there, I'm signing out. 999, 1000, oh. Next up we have our head basketball trainer Luke Sauber and number 32 Marcus Washington showing you a little bit of what they like to bring on the road in the training bag. Go ahead and take a look. Okay, we're here with our fabulous trainer, Luke, and Marcus Washington, number 32, ACU Wildcats. Luke's going to give us a rundown of some of his favorite things to bring while on the road. This is the training bag. I carry it everywhere I go. I'm going to open it up here, and, well, uh, this isn't supposed to be in here, sorry. Um, anyways, uh, traveling on the road, these guys don't always have heat packs to heat up their bodies, so I like to bring this thing along. You cannot buy that in stores. It's some of the best stuff on the on the uh, black market, uh, heat it up real nice. Softly apply it to the knee and you heat your knee up and cool it down as you like. Another thing I like to bring is for post game, it's a portable stem unit. Really use this on guys who um, backs start locking up on them for long bus rides home and it, it, it works wonders. I like it, they like it. Well, there you have it, folks. That's all I got for you. I hope you enjoyed this little preview of what it's like to be an ACU basketball player on the road. Hope to see you at a game sometime soon here in Moody Coliseum. But until then, I'm Ben Wharton, signing out.